Hello everybody and welcome back to another brand new Battle of the Heartland video. At the time of this video, I just like to apologize first because I was originally going to upload the Insurgent Rampage number 4. However, after an unfortunate accident, I don't know how it happened, my file got corrupt. And after four times of rendering, it just well, it just doesn't work anymore. I don't know why. So unfortunately, the Insurgent Rampage number 4, which was scheduled to go up today, will not be going up. Um, I'm still working right now. Obviously, this is the um, Heartland DLC review, so I don't know if I'm gonna put another video today. I was thinking about doing a Minecraft video, but we're gonna wait and see how it is. But in the meantime, I want to get into this in-depth review for uh, the criminal activity. So if you guys enjoy the video, leave a like, subscribe, and uh, let's get into it. So we got these four maps: uh, Cold Blue, Black Friday, um, Backwoods, and the Beat, and. One thing you can do, if you, if you play the campaign in this game, one thing you can definitely pick out is that at least two of the maps in this game are pretty much campaign maps. And I'm talking about the beat in Black Friday, because Black Friday, in the, in the campaign, you played on a shopping mall that was ravaged by a hurricane, and that's pretty much the entire Black Friday map. It's just, I mean, the map itself isn't really that great. I will just keep talking about Black Friday while we're at it. The map is not that great. Um, it's like Operation Log from Battlefield. You have a lot of close quarters battles and it's classic head-to-head -head meetup. It's it's pretty, it's really bad. Like you, you, it's so hard to survive. Like you have to have some great talent surviving that map. Um, and uh, the other map that I was also talking about, uh, the beat. The first campaign mission when you're trying to hunt down the uh, the drug cartel, when you're going through that um, the old rundown um, Miami neighborhood, that is exactly what the beat is. And I I, I don't think there's there's barely anything from the beat that's actually like legitly like native to the map. The map is a lot of recycled textures from the campaign, which again I already stated it, like, it, it hurts my feelings to see that because you think Visceral would have the time to create fresh maps instead of taking ideas from the campaign, but one thing Call of Duty's had troubles with, or not Call of Duty, sorry, Dolly. One thing Battlefield has had troubles with is re recycled textures. A lot of a lot of maps, though they may be fresh, have a lot of recycled textures because this is the way the DLC is. But I want to get into the other two maps, which aren't as bad. Right now I'm playing Code Blue, which I like to get into. Code Blue is a decent map because now. The the, uh, the the um the the middle of the map itself the nightclub is a little bit funky because of all the lighting but it's actually I like the I like the the nightclub because it's it's colorful um you actually saw in the other video I actually got into a little bit of a dance out with a bunch of random players and just all ran into this the middle of the thing it's kind of funny actually but um yeah the uh the inside of the, besides the the uh the nightclub which is insanely colorful and it's just i like it it's kind of cool the outsides of the map aren't really that special we have the area i'm in right now is a um a construction site a lot of different buildings you can get on top of these roofs over here but um the night the nightclub itself there's a lot of choke points a lot of areas you can get caught this map is i, I think it's pretty balanced um, the only thing I wish that there wasn't as much is there's a lot of sniper cover on this map, which isn't the biggest thing. I mean, there's a lot of areas for the snipers on both sides to get into, and it's a little bit rough. But, um, as far this is probably one of the better maps in the map. I, 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 if I could rate all the maps, Black Friday and the Beat get like a 3 out of 10 for me just because of how much they are similar to the campaign. This map probably is a 5 out of 10. But what I want to get into the most is Backwoods, and Backwoods is probably the most authentic map in this DLC because it's something different. And now it's not only is it like a typical Battlefield map, that ba Backwoods is the largest map in the DLC. It is huge. There's so much open territory. There's a logging area. There's a uh, bridge in the middle that blows up after uh, for a Levolution event. Um, there's a lot of vehicles. There's a helicopter. Um, the conquest large playing that is typical 64, so many people. But the reason why I like backwards is because there isn't. I mean, the only map, I, the only uh, thing I can think of in the campaign I can be closest to is the uh, the SWAT level. But even so, backwards is its own map. It was not still, it was not stolen from the campaign. None of the ideas are, are, are um, they're, the ideas are fresh, and I just, I just like the map. Like I've had the most fun of the map. 
But the one downfall it has, just like Code Blue, is the snipers. That is a sniper-centric map. There's so many spots you can just lay down and just snipe. It's actually incredibly insane. And you have to be really good at sniping to play it well on that map. And I would not recommend using an SMG in that map because there's so many long distance battles and it's really hard to get engaged. But um, uh, as of right now though, I would like to get into the guns. Uh, let's start with the KSG, which is probably the most overpowered shotgun in the game. This gun doesn't have very good range, normally some shotguns do. But this shotgun up close is just, it is an absolute beast. There's very few shotguns in the game that can take its place. I, I, I can't even think of one shotgun that can take its place to put on it for you. It's just, it's so good. There's, no, there's nothing about it that's not good. It's got great spread. It does so much damage up close. And the first game I bought it, I, I had no idea how it ran. I actually went like, I think it was 47 to 15 with it. It was, I did really well because it it's, 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 it's not, it doesn't take skill to use. It's just one of those shotguns where if you, as long as you know how to aim and keep it in target, you can do well with it. Um, as far as other weapons wise, the, uh, the Enforcer class definitely got a lot of the meat in this DLC eating three weapons, the, uh, the shotgun and the two battle rifles. Um, the SG-510 battle rifle, um, I actually mustered it up a little too much. When I was, when I, in my first playthrough, I had a really good game with it, and I, I, I remember saying it was the best TLC gun in the game. Um, after quite a while of playing with it now, it's actually not as good as I thought it was. I mean, I'm running a different attachments on it now, but I, don't, I haven't had as much success with it as I had the first game. But it's still not a bad gun. I actually believe that it's better than the FAL in my opinion, because the FAL's got too much recoil. And I probably should be running that gun the way it's meant to be. It's meant to be uh, semi-auto, and I am uh, running it fully auto because I'm a noob. But, um... The FAL definitely uh, looks authentic. There's nothing about the gun that doesn't look legit. But let's get into the cream of the crop because everybody knows that the best part of this DLC is the M1A1 Thompson. I made a gangster loadout video as Al Capone, which uh, I really enjoyed making that video because it was just a little bit of old style and nostalgia from the 1920s. And I love this gun. I, I don't obviously, I forgot to put the drum click on this video, but the drum clip looks amazing, the foregrip. The gun just looks amazing. It's obviously not as powerful because it's for all noble for all the classes. But the gun's got amazing hip fire accuracy, and as, as long as you're accurate and you have good reaction time, you should have no problem taking people out with this gun. Um, but as far as that goes, and a lot of people are criticizing me for not talking about the mess in this game, because I honestly don't care about the mess. They're not really that big a deal for me for the DLC, and I'm never going to look at my guy straight and be like, wow, I have a mask on. So I know I'm not going to cover the mess in this video, because they don't matter that much to me. What I do want to talk about is the uh, the lowrider, uh, the car, which is I I don't know if it's an OL map, but I know it's an OL on the beat. And even though that car's got no things, it's really I, I like it's kind of cool. It's just a little cool effect for the map. It doesn't really have that much of a purpose to it. it I mean, obviously, if, uh, if you hold down the left stick, the thing bounces up and down like like a typical lowrider would from that type of the neighborhood. Um, it's, an, it's a cool car. Um, but another thing I like about this DLC is the nail gun battle pickup, which isn't has barely no range to it whatsoever because it's a nail gun. But that's cool because it's I do believe it's a one headshot kill if you get him in the head, and then it's like a two to three from the uh, uh, chest downward, which is it's all right. It's not bad if you're accurate with that. I actually won game clip where I think I got like three kills within like three seconds of each other. But um, yeah, it's not bad. And, uh, but the whole DLC in general, I think it's, there's some, there's some balancing issues with the snipers. There's, there's, I think there's too many areas that favor snipers. And there's not much that the game has, the map has, there's not much the DLC has to offer, in my opinion. I just think it's, it's too sniper-centric. There's too much campaign involved. And... I wasn't, I mean, I was a lot more excited for the DLC before, I, before it first came out, and then after I'm kind of playing it, it's kind of just like, yeah, whatever. Like, the maps don't really have a lot of repayability. I mean, I reiterate, I don't know, like, when I said Backwoods is probably the best replayable map, Cold Blue being the second. I mean, I just wish that Visual Games when they made these maps they had more original ideas. I mean, I don't care if you take a couple of textures from the campaign, 
they'll just copy and paste an entire shopping mall from the campaign or uh, neighborhood. Like, have some new ideas, have some new things. Keep your ideas different, and the fans will come. I mean, this is uh, the first DLC that's had off for Heartland, which is a game that's been criticized for pretty much being its a uh, bigger DLC for BF4. A lot of people still consider it being a DLC, even though it's its own game. But, um, that's gonna wrap up my review, guys. My final recommendation is if you're a hardcore Hardland player, I would definitely not one. I play this now and then, but it's definitely not amazing. It's, it's The game's alright. It's not perfect, but it's alright. I, if you're a hardcore Hardland player, I would recommend the DLC just to have it, just to try the M181 Thompson, but the, for all the honesty, unless you have premium, I don't think the DLC's worth buying. Just because if you play the campaign, there's, it's pretty much 30, pretty much 50% of this DLC is all campaign. I mean, obviously there's no storyline from it, but the map-wise it is, so... But I mean, yeah, I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't recommend it. Uh, unless you have premium, which obviously you have to stick with it, I wouldn't recommend it. Really, the, uh, you're pretty much buying the DLC for the M1A1 time stick, it's pretty much the best part about it. But, um, that's correct for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed the DLC review, and you want to pick it up, um, Hardline is available right now, and so is Premium, and, uh, Criminal 2 has been out since Tuesday, you can pick it up for yourself. Um, it's your own fault if you don't like it, obviously. I mean, it's, it's alright, it's not, it's not the greatest DLC in the world, but, um, it's, it's, it's available. So, if you guys liked the video, Please hit like and subscribe. If you did enjoy the video, please say so in the comments. Your feedback is greatly appreciated. I have contemplated making another video for today. It would just be Minecraft because it would take the place of the GTA video. But I'm at I'm at like 50/50 right now. If I want to upload another video for today, but it would it would be before um, eight o'clock, which I know is a long ways away, and I, I, we'll see. It all depends on what I want to do. But um, whatever happens the rest of the day, stay tuned tonight. I'm gonna try and upload. Um, you, the first ever Arkhamet video for my channel, I'm extremely excited for it. Um, because I will be going to pick it up later in the night. So if you guys are excited for Arkham content, please stay tuned to my channel tonight and the rest of the week and the next week coming for a lot of Arkham videos. And, uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys later with a possible video. If not, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow with Arkham Night, and, uh, have a good day.